My sons will not go to Krakow. I want them to be Cossacks. But hear me out. They will be educated like princes at the court. My sons will be Cossacks. They will not go to Krakow. I will not An allow... An order it. has been issued by the King of Poland, sir. To hell with your king and his orders! Get out! No! Oh, I beg you! Let go of me! Oh! You dare to come back, and I'll strangle you. Go right to the King of Poland. <laughs> No Polish time! I'll be roasted in hell, Gorkov, before I let those dogs take any son of mine. If they should try to come back to this house, we must kill all of them. You hear? Yes, Taras. If you send your sons to the Siege, they will learn how to be warriors. It is only there at the Cossack headquarters that they can become true Cossacks, Taras. Well said. I'll bring them to the Siege myself. Gorkov! You must be on your way to Kiev now. Get ready. Go and fetch me my son. news of the court. The Cossacks are not honoring the pact with His Majesty. The King intends to crush this rebellion. We have no other choice. According to the Church, the King has no obligation to uphold treaties signed by heretics. These infidels make oaths and betray us as soon as our backs are turned. No, the Cossacks cannot be trusted. Of that, I am sure. It's quite obvious our efforts to convert the Cossacks have been in vain. Their priests refuse to abandon their churches, and their chieftains won't allow their sons to be educated at the Polish court. We've tried to force their leaders to obey, but the Cossacks are stubborn men.
Why must you go away so soon? Wait just a while. I can't stay. Andre. What, Nadia? Do you love me? I do. I love you always. They're calling me. I must go. But... It's not quite daybreak. It's time. Andre. Perhaps you won't come back. No. I will. When? When we've defeated the Poles. Nadia. would be furious if he knew you were courting a Polish girl. Unless you tell him. He will never know. I won't betray you. But Andre, promise me you won't see her anymore. <laughs> On one condition. If you promise never to drink vodka again. <laughs> <laughs> I know you will be happy to see your son again, huh? You know my son? No? Yes, it's a bird. Well, my boys will be as hungry as bears. Don't worry. prepare the cuts for them. The beds. Outside. Hear me, woman. My sons won't sleep on beds. Uh, They'll sleep like warriors, outside.
my sons. <laughs> Side saddle. <laughs> Good God. Tell the truth. Aren't they really two concubines you brought back from Kiev? Good <laughs> Forgotten oh. how much you wanted us to go? You said you wanted us to be educated properly. Oh. Now, are you saying it's all my fault? Gorkov, did you hear that? My brother and I obeyed you, and now you're mocking us both. Oh, surely not I. Forgive an ignorant peasant, my son. Not anyone to make fun of me, not even you. Ah, ah. That's the spirit. You want to fight? Let's go, then. Let's see how strong you are, my boy! Ah, ah, ah. Come on! Ah, here! Ah, ha, ha. Oh! Uh, ah, what muscles! What a Cossack is! I was wrong! He's a real man! <laughs> my son, why are you lying there? <laughs> Get up, boy! You can whip an old man like me! Come on! Try again! Don't be afraid! Ah, ha. Ah, <laughs> uh, stop! <laughs> Silence! Enough? 
for days without stopping. And we've had very little to eat since we left Kiev. You're right, Gurkov. Old woman, why aren't you preparing some food for my son? Is this how you welcome them home? Come now, all of you. We're going to celebrate. <laughs> 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 I'm really home again. Andre, I've been very lonesome for you. We've missed you, Mother. You won't be with me long. I know your father will take you away. He's been restless. He wants to go to war again. How I wish we could stay together just a little while. We can never live in peace with the Tatars and the Poles, Mother. Don't worry. We'll come back. I promise. Andre! Andre! Come here! There you are! You're waiting to drink a toast! What were you doing? Talking with Mother. Your place is here among warriors, Andre. Not with the women. Ah! His mother wants to hide him under her skirts. My son, listen. Respect for yourself. A saber, a horse, open air. That's for a Cossack. He has no time to fuss about with women. The only mother you need is a saber. You hear, my son? Don't forget it. Gorkov, the day has come to return to the Cossack headquarters. Tomorrow, we shall leave. This time, I shall take my sons to the Sietz with us. Ah! My dear comrades, may God bless us and protect us all. Amen. Amen. And now let us celebrate! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop! Where's your jug? Don't you like our vodka? <laughs> ah, that's better. <laughs> Scholar! Ah, he was the pride of the so city. he was. <laughs> ah, I wonder if he can tell us how to say aqua vita in Latin. <laughs> tell us, Andres. Teach us Latin, huh? <laughs> How did those Latins speak Latin when they never drank vodka? For myself, a bottle of vodka contains 
All the knowledge in the whole world. <laughs> My son goes to school. <laughs> to me, life. Life, life is the best school of all. The only one. You'll learn that. Only when you go to the Siet. Laugh and philosophy. Uh, your books and your studies. I spent on all that. <laughs> My son. Tell me, what did you learn at the seminary? Huh? They didn't even teach you to drink. Oh, yes. They taught you how to look fancy and uh, act like nobility. Uh, tell me now, uh, how you uh, uh, managed to walk around in that fancy dress. <laughs> now listen, everybody. I bet you all the vodka in the house that he's not able to take a step without getting all tangled up in his skirts. <laughs> Does he think he can fight the Tartars dressed like that? Enough! I don't allow anyone to speak that way. Not even my own father. Uh. That's enough! We're... We're just wasting time! We've been idle too long. Cossacks, uh. we ride to war. Two arms! Two arms! Two arms! We go together, Gorkov. We must all fight. My heart tells me to go to Krakow. Death to the Poles! You, you go too. Huh? No, not a man must stay behind. <coughs> Hey, you there. What's the matter? Are you stupid? Uh, go get the weapons ready. Uh. Ah. Cossacks! Tomorrow. Uh. Uh. Vodka. Give me vodka. Uh. Cossacks! Doris! Doris swears. Victory or death! Amen! Mother? May the Lord watch over you and protect you. Your father wants you to act like a warrior. Yet you're really a gentle boy, you know. And should you take a wife one day, remember to be kind. My daughter, your behavior toward Prince Chipkin is inexcusable. Why do you refuse his company? Remember, he's the cousin of the king, and we must feel honored by his visit here. I'm sorry, Father. He bores me. And besides, he's too persistent. This is nonsense, Nadia. If he should decide to propose to you, I order you to accept. Please forgive me, Father. But I don't love him. Your emotions are not important. You must marry him and bring honor to our house. You will marry him. You will do exactly what I tell you to do. What is that medallion you've been wearing? An Orthodox cross? Are you mad? Do you wish the Holy Church to declare you excommunicated? Father, I'm not unchristian. I 
I want to know who gave it to you. That Cossack. It was he who gave it to you, wasn't it? How could you have committed such a sin? Answer me. My daughter. Circassians and Cossacks have arrived, my lord. They wish an audience with you. I grant it. Our Majesty, the mighty Khan, sends tribute, and we Tartars offer you these jewels. Welcome you in the name of the King of Poland, and I send our thanks to your sovereign for his splendid gifts. Sire, I convey the homage of the King of the Circassians, who wishes you to accept these slave women in tribute. In the name of our King, we welcome you and express our thanks. this word to his lordship. The Poles may expect no tributes from us. The Cossacks are not vassals of the King of Poland, and much less those of the Tartars. Wait. Your people can expect no mercy from us with such arrogance. We ask no mercy, we'll fight to the end. them to meet our people. Aren't they a fine pair? They are truly sons of Taras Bulba. Are they warriors? You will see, you will see. But tell us, where can we stay? Come to my tent. There's plenty of room. I'll enjoy your company. All right. <laughs> At least there'll be food and vodka. <laughs> That's right, wherever I am. Listen, <laughs> are you still whipping the Tartars? Yes, we'll chase them across the steps. One day, Taras, you'll see. The Tartars will end up with their heads on a spike.
developing that Cossack for us, Rimsky. Hey, Taras Boba. Ah, you're here. About time. You caught us at a bad moment. This man's been found guilty of stealing. Sentenced to a hundred lashes. That's fair. In honor of your arrival, I pass you the whip. <laughs> Delighted. You go, my son. Don't spare the whip. I won't with him. I'm sorry, but I don't approve of it. Call yourself a Cossack! And your name? Oh, stop. Where do you come from? A long way from here. And you're a Cossack? And what are you called? Mira. I didn't know there were pretty women at Cossack headquarters. You don't think we belong here, do you? Ah, but I didn't say that. You were about to. No, I merely wanted to tell you you're very pretty. But it's inhuman. Andre, you must learn our ways.
This is as much as I am able to send you. Distribute it among all your people, so that no one goes without. Greetings, country boy. My friend, is it you, Taras? <laughs> I bring you greetings from my town and my people. And country boy, let me introduce my two sons. Why, he's indeed a splendid young man, Taras Bulba. Thank you. Where's the other one? Uh, I'll tell you now. Uh, he was dancing with a girl down at the square. <laughs> My sons like plenty of excitement. I want them to stay here. Here they might have the opportunity of fighting the Tartars and the Poles. <laughs> I'm afraid we're not going to start fighting again. But we must, Kochevoy. The Tartars provoked us. And those Polish dogs want to make vassals of us. There'll be no war against the Tartars and the Poles, my friend. Tell me why, Kochevoy. Remember, we signed a pact with Sigismund and the Great Khan. But you know that they have betrayed us. No, we have sworn an oath on the Holy Gospel. Cossacks are men. Are we to act like women? Gentle and meek when we are insulted? I would rather be dead. Taras, even if the Tartars try to provoke us, we'll still maintain a peace as we have sworn. Haven't you done enough harm already by refusing to pay tributes to the king? Now would you propose that we bring dishonor upon ourselves by violating this treaty? We do not have the right to make war. Remember, Taras, we are not a free people. Not yet. There must be peace, you say. You know at what price, Scotia boy. War is our life. The field of battle is our only home. A Cossack is not made like other men. We'd be destroyed if we were to spend our days only in dancing and drinking. What sort of life is that for a Cossack? I'm asking you. Can we feel free? Surrendering our rights. We have to fight to save our souls. I understand well. But we cannot go to war. Nothing. Nothing will convince you. No, Taurus. There will be no war. I suppose you're going to leave now. For my sake. I wish you'd stay. If you go away, You'll find another woman. No, I love you, Mira. I shall return. But, Ostap, you know you could be killed. I've seen many who wanted to fight. And now they are all dead. I'm not afraid. You'll see. I'll fight and live. Just for me. Is Taras going to attack? I don't know. There seems to be some disagreement among them. He's staying in Pechuriski's tent. Pechuriski's tent is on the outskirts of the Siege. We must act tonight. It will be done. It won't be easy. You and the great Khan have placed your trust in me. I shall not fail.
Tell me, wasn't I right to tell Kochevoy what I think? Yes, but you cannot disregard the oath. Let's drink. We must drink now, while we can. But what's the use? Drinking, talk. We are only wasting our strength. While the Poles conquer our land and our people, why should that be? We Cossacks. <laughs> we like a good time. But we belong on a horse, with our sabers drawn. I know the day will come when they will attack. They will kill our children, make our women into slaves. I know what you say is true, Taras, but we have sworn to a treaty on the Holy Gospel and it is impossible. Poles also signed that treaty and the Tartars as well. Look what they're doing. No, they don't abide by it. They expect us to do whatever they say, cheats and liars. Unless we act quickly, this may mean the end of our people. Listen to me. Taras Bulba. We shall pay the Poles no more tributes and we shall drive out the Tartars. I will not listen to Kochevoy. Kochevoy is an old man. Perhaps we ought to replace him. Elect another leader, huh? Yes, I propose we do. Betrayed, Cossacks. Tartars attacked the Sietch. They killed 16 of our men. Comrades, don't listen to Kutcher Boy. You hear? Our leader is an imbecile. Death to the Poles! They are our real enemy. 
We must now answer back. We should no longer tolerate their injustice. They are inciting the Tartars. We will not be the serfs of the Polish king. What's this? Why are the troops assembled? We shall not be conquered. We shall rebel against the Poles. What do you say? Speak, country boys. Cossacks, you must decide among you. Do you want to have peace? No war, eh? Now speak up. Brothers, make your decision. I can't believe it's true. Taras Bulba, how could you have been so idiotic as to allow him to escape from us? Is this true? Yes, it is true. Taras Bulba has escaped. But all is not lost, Vavoda. They've brought back a prisoner, the son of Taras Bulba. His son? Yes, Andre, the younger one. Why, well, he's one of the students from the academy. I've seen him before. Surely now the Cossacks will attack us in force. We must act quickly in order to surprise them. Yes, sire. I'm afraid they're already on the move. Taras Bulba has mobilized his troops, and there are others who are supporting that him. That was to be expected. But our army at Drubno is not large enough to hold back their forces. My lord. Let me command the troops for you. I think we can easily crush Taras. How? We're too few. There should be a better way to stop the Cossacks. Remember, Bulba's son is our captive. We can use him to our advantage. You summon me, my lady? Bring me my most beautiful dress and my jewels. Where are you going? I want to see him. What if your father should hear of this? He won't harm me. But he'd kill Andre. No. Oh, Nuchka. Let me go to him. I'll see that he's well treated. Please, Nuchka, go at once. Voivoda has sent us here with a message for you. That your son will be safely returned to you if you send back your troops. The cowards. Miserable, cowardly Poles. No. But it's too late to turn back now. Whatever the cost. We fight. Be careful, Taras. The Voivoda will have him killed if you don't stop this march immediately. You can tell the Voivoda this, that we're marching on Dubno tomorrow. If he dares to harm Andre, I'll spare nobody there. By almighty God, I swear Dubno will surely be burned to the ground.
Father! The Poles, they're attacking us! Our time has come, Mostov. <laughs> Not a soul. They're gone. Is our prisoner. Delirious. You give him this medicine. Please take care of him. You can have this ring. What can I do with this? I deserve a better reward. Get me out of here. Very well. I'll try my best. Who are you? I'm a friend, prisoner. Can't you remember? I told you who I was. Another prisoner, like you. Nadia, where is she? That medicine I brought you was sent by Nadia. She wants to help you. We are prisoners of the Poles. Poles? Let me die, there's no hope. Everyone says that at first. But you'll get used to it. So don't give up. My father will come. This town is going to fall. He'll save us, don't worry, Krishna. I swear it, Krishna. You sent for me, Nadia? Huh? Yes, my lord. I have something to ask of you. I'm at your command, my lady. My lord. What is it, Nadia? Pardon me, but you're the only one I can turn to. I have trust in you. I beg you, help me. If it's possible, I promise. Then save Andre's life. It's not possible, Nadia. I'd do anything, but not this. Don't you see that this would be an act of treason? You must understand, my lady. Despite my love for you, it's impossible. 
please forgive me. What news do you bring, Prince Leposky? We've been informed, sire, that Taras Bulba himself is leading the Kazakh armies. We shall destroy them. It's evident we cannot. You see, Krakow has pledged us support, but they've provided no troops. So for now, we'll let the enemy make the first move. All right, then, I'll tell you. Deploy what troops you have now, yours on the east, yours on the north side of the city. Prince Buminski, you will stay on the bastions with the archers. Chipkin and I will remain in the center. Your Lordship, wouldn't it be wiser if we stationed another battalion outside the walls? Yes, I agree, Voivoda. A very wise suggestion. Gentlemen, that is all. May God protect us. annihilate your army. Don't be a fool, Taurus. You can never take Tupno. In the name of the King of Poland, I order you and your men to turn back. If you do not obey, I will hang your son from the city tower. I command you, turn back, Taras Pulva. Andre is in danger. Be careful. Taras, perhaps we should turn back. We can't sacrifice Andre. The prisoner is escaping! Stop him! Oh, 
my son, Andre. <laughs> You're a brave lad. You must fight at my side. You're a true Cossack. Cossack! Let's go! Let's go! Tonight, or wait for the reinforcements, sire. What about the supplies and food? All that we have will last about ten days, sire. Come here. Manage to get out of the fortress tonight and go as quickly as you can for help. At your orders. If we get no reinforcements within ten days, we'll risk a breakthrough. Yes, sir.
Why aren't you joining the festivities? You're young. Life is short. Why sit here alone, brooding? Have fun. Strangely, sometimes. Andre, what's wrong? Oh. There's something you're keeping from me. No. Oh. Decide to take a wife. Choose her from among the women of your own faith and your own race. I would rather see you dead than hear you deny your own people, my son. You mark my words. Good night, Father. Here's my decision. We'll try to negotiate a truce at once. We can't possibly hold out. I have a report from Krakow that we're getting no more troops. It's hopeless, gentlemen. Prince Lepowski, you will head the peace delegation. How do you know that we can trust those Cossack infidels? Seems to me there is no alternative. And what if they want to enter the city? What then? Cossacks will not enter Tubno. That will be a condition we will insist upon, gentlemen. I'd rather go down in defeat than sacrifice the city. Excuse me, my lord. The enemy must be conquered while we still have strength. Our soldiers have hardly any supplies. It's only a question of time, sire. They'll be so weakened by famine and disease, they'll hardly be able to fight. We'd be entirely at their mercy, and the Cossacks can be cruel. Attack tonight. There can be no question, Voivoda. We'll meet later. You may go. I think we should try a counterattack. It would look like cowardice if we surrendered, my lord. Yet we cannot sacrifice the city, just to save our honor. <laughs> our people 
and greeting. <laughs> look at them. They look like little angels from heaven. But where are their wings? <laughs> we came to employ you to call a truce, Taras Bulba. I bring these gifts as evidence of our good faith. All the gold and precious stones in Dubna are in these coffers. It is all the wealth we possess. Now it is yours. I thank you. Now, what do you want in exchange? Have mercy on us, Taras. That's all we ask. Do not destroy our city. Save our women and children. Ah, you fools are such skillful liars. Their tongues are forked like serpents. <laughs> uh, the Voivoda. Does he too send something? All of us were sent here by our leader. And he will not refuse you anything. If there's something else you desire, speak and you shall have it. I want the daughter of the Voivoda. But, Papa, why? There's a good reason, Ostap. If he sends his daughter here, the Voivoda will prove that he's completely sincere. Besides, a woman like that would be useful to us. And she'd fetch a good price at the slave market in Constantinople. My daughter to be made their slave? You must be mad. Taras has refused the gold and also the jewels that we offer to him. What else can we do, sire? I will not give him Nodja. You idiot! Enough. They'll pay for this. We'll destroy them. I'll see Taurus Bulba in hell. Quickly, alert the city and prepare the soldiers for an attack. Nuchka. The necklace. Don't go. will not keep their word, they will kill us all the same. Please, my lady, we beg you, do not go. Do not go, my lady. Welcome. 
welcome, my lady. <laughs> we'll take care of you. <laughs> Paris, the boy Walter's daughter's coming. Beauty. Taras Bulver's getting a jewel. You're a proud, beautiful woman. Farewell, father. You will not take the daughter of the Voivoda. Come out, Andre! Andre! I curse the day you were born, traitor! How dare you defy your father, Charles Bulba! You're not my son. You don't have my blood. You're not worthy to have been born a Cossack. You betrayed your people, Andre. Blackened the good name of our family. And for what? A pole? A woman? Andre! Andre, I begot you, and I'll kill you!
Father. Father! God forgive me, you are my son. Pray for me. I murdered him only because I love him. 